All right, welcome back. So we're in the SU-25T. Um, we're going to try these Vickers. I probably won't go into a tank match. Um, I don't go into top tier tank match. Forget that. Anyway, um, so we're going to try these Vickers. Now, let me just go through my controls because I am really confused. Somebody help me. All right, so if I go to weaponry, we have we have a we have four options here. It's really strange. Um, where are we? So we have activate target point, deactivate target point, site stabilization, disable site stabilization. Um, now these do pretty much the same thing as regards to the aiming of the laser sight thing. Um, these two are uh, normally used for CCRP when you're um, with bombs and things. So you point it somewhere in the ground, you press that, you hold the pickle down, fly over the target, and the plane will drop the bomb. You know, CCRP. So you can use that for CCRP. I don't think this is used for CCR CCRP. Um, but it is used for the, for the targeting pod thing. So let me just go back and we'll go into the site. So I press the view button. Now, I'm using track IR. So bear that in mind. So when I look around, my pilot looks around. So we go into the view cam. Now at default, your track IR moves this camera around. But the mouse also moves the camera around. And it's quite difficult to keep your head straight, straight <laughs> head straight and use the mouse. So what I tend to do is activate target point and then the track IR is disabled and you can do this. But if I disable it, uh, turn it off, I can also press site stabilization, which does exactly the same thing. And then we can look around this and then you can disable site stabilization. And it goes back to this view. So we've got Stabilization, disable dis stabilization. And we've got activate target point and deactivate target point. So they do basically the same thing. So I have act you can see the, the you can see the green dot on the runway. That's where I activated the target point. So if I press uh, site stabilization, it should flip to that point over there. So disable stabilization enable and it flicks back to where I designated the target point but it also does that when you do this stabilization as well so let's get rid of that yeah so yeah so when you've so when you've pressed activate target point that circle on the runway is where you've activated the target point and uh, you know site stabilization on site stabilization off now, if I activate target point again, it should activate it at the same point. So, yeah, I'm very confused. So when you've pressed activate target point, um, you get this view and you get the laser. Oh, it's thundering outside. Oh, heck. The power, I might lose power. So when you've pressed activate target point or stabilize target, <laughs> you get this view and you can just move the target and you can leave it there so if, if you're looking at a ship you don't have to target the ship you can just leave it in this mode and just point at the at the, the side of the ship so if you did look if you looked at the ship in this mode and then pressed activate target point again it would lock onto the ship but you don't have to do that you can just leave it there so it is weird so as I said I'm confused because these 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 buttons generally do the same thing, so it's a bit weird. Um, also, if we go back to the cockpit view. We'll deactivate target point. Um, you can see the circle still on the runway where I pointed it first, but if you're in the cockpit view and you press activate target point, you'll get a circle over the crosshairs in the middle of the HUD. So I press that, you'll get the circle. That's that's the camera pointing straight forward. So if you're in the cockpit view and you're diving on something, 
if you're lucky enough, you can point that crosshair right at the target and then press activate target point and it should lock onto the thing that you're looking at. Um, but also, if you press activate site stabilization, it does the same thing and disable and, dis and enable. So if you're, I know this is really confusing, isn't it? So when you're in the cockpit diving on something, you can either pray you can either press activate target point or you can press activate site stabilization so generally yeah they they tend to do the same thing okay so i've put site stabilization on so the triple a units at ground battles in sim are deadly so you want to get rid of them first so you would try and get them from a distance so what what i thought i would be doing is pointing this X at the target to where I think it is and press activate target point so when I go to the camera sometimes it doesn't uh, it doesn't go to where the camera's looking so it's a bit strange so sometimes it will go there and sometimes it won't so we're in this mode and then we've got to press activate target point again when we're close enough for it to lock on and it's uh and so come on come on lock so activate target point and I've locked again laser on and then put the square and it should it should knock it out yeah so yeah so I'll just oh, I'll reiterate reiterate so yeah sometimes when you point the plane at where in a in a region where you want to look and press activate target point, it doesn't always, you know, when you switch to that camera, it doesn't always go there. Sometimes it's looking over here. It's a bit weird. So but you can do it with site stabilization and it goes to where you're looking. But sometimes it doesn't. So that is a bit weird. Right, so if you'd got rid of all the AAA units, then you can go over the over the over to where the tanks are and then just do everything from the hood but um, the problem is you have to be quite precise you've got to have that 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 X directly on the tank or it'll just uh, it might not lock so for this I would probably use activate target point I don't think site stabilization stabilization would work so I'm getting close and I try and get as close as possible and then activate target point and it doesn't always aim directly at it but there we go so let us try it with site stabilization see if that uh, See if I can lock onto the tank with site stabilization. Bear in mind you've been attacked constantly by F 14s with Phoenix missiles every two minutes. So we'll try it with site stabilization, see if that works. Kind of. Okay. So we hit it. So yeah. So from the hood, it seems you can press activate target point. Or site stabilization but bear in mind it doesn't when you switch to the camera but it doesn't always look there but um, yeah so what we'll do we'll try and go into a game and and try and use them okay dookie Afghanistan uh, there is a battle there's a battle there um, let's go to this one um, and let's not get pegged by a phoenix shall we um so I all I've got is the Vikir these things and two missiles. Um and we'll we'll go here. Um let's see what we can do. Okay. There, like you say, the the battle's down there. So they should be the furthest ones away. So if I go uh like that 
can we see uh, we can see something there look already um so we'll lock onto that if we can come on there we go and then this is the dodgy bit because you've got to keep your eye on it there's one of them but there's one next to him okay so we need to run away I don't know if chaff affects their radar or not okay so that was one of them so we've got to run away but we can't run away because we're off almost off the map so this <laughs> bloody game this bloody game so it'll respawn me directly over the battle and I'll get shot no doubt What did I say? It's incredible, isn't it? Incredible. Well thought out. So I need to fly away a bit and then try and find another one to attack. Okay, so I do have... Now sometimes when I do this, it, it doesn't go back to it, so I've got to... It is a bit weird why it doesn't uh, go back to it. Can we find another one? Um, I don't think that's a tri We'll try it, but I don't think that's a triple A truck. You gotta keep off oh, I keep forgetting you've got to keep that square in the uh There we go, we did get it. It was a ZSU. Okay, turn around. Now we can uh, we can only do this as long as we don't get intercepted. Okay, I found another battle. I'm pretty sure I'm the uh triple A trucks are fairly visible. Well I can just level the plane out so I can see them. Yeah, so the triple A trucks are here, look. Just need to get a bit closer. There we go. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, get in range. Right. I don't know why it fired two then. It shouldn't have done. One just blew up. That should hit. It didn't hit. Fire another one. That's a problem. You, you, you get so close that... Uh, Yeah, you get so close that it's dangerous. <laughs> Don't know why it fired two at once then. It's quite hard to spot them. Come on, turn around. Okay, where are you? There. There's one. Like I said, with these things, you still have to get pretty close. It's not... Uh... There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This plane does not like to do turny wernies. Oh, so it's a ZSU 37, not a 23. They must have 23s as well. Okay, so my reticle is still there and it remembered. So there's one there as well, I think. Possibly. But you have to get so close. That was a 23. Yeah, I've already been in. Okay. And there's another one there, look. Okay. 
the 23. Yeah, so the, the row was in range. <laughs> Unbelievable. So I found a convoy, but I can't seem to lock onto them for some reason. There's a convoy here, but it won't uh, lock on properly. Um, it is down here somewhere. Whoop. There we go, lock onto that. Okay, that was a 23. Run away. It's so hard. You have to get so close that they can definitely shoot you. Let's run away. Uh, I've only got a few rockets left. Uh, I'll try it down there. Try and lock onto it. The first thing I can see. Okay, that was a BTR. A BTR. Okay. All rockets left. Quickly lock onto this. Yeah, that was a, that was a plane. So there's, there's something that spotted me, but uh, I don't know if it's a ground unit or not. I don't know. Hey, look! I didn't lose money. Amazing. So <laughs> I think I got 15 ground units. Um, yeah, so as I said, everything is really difficult apart from pressing the space bar on a red circle. Um, yeah, <laughs> the convoys are extremely difficult and the ground battles are extremely difficult. I think if I had a thermal sight, it would be a lot easier. But um, yeah, it's difficult. And, and when you designate the target point in the cockpit, and then you switch to the camera, it resets itself every well half the time it resets itself um it's enjoyable to use but it's uh, it's difficult when you're flying against 12s yeah but anyway thanks for watching um and i'll see you later <laughs> bye